Hey guys, today I'm going to be continuing our UI table view series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use custom cells in your application projects. Uh, custom cells are really good if you need images or if the default cells that, that Apple provides isn't good enough for whatever you're doing. Okay, so I already have Xcode open. Just go to File, New Project, and this time let's make it a navigation based application. Choose. I'm going to name mine custom cells. You can name yours whatever you want though. I'm going to resize it. Make this the simulator. Open classes and resources folders. And the first thing to do is to come to uh, your root view controller.m and right click, go to new file. Um, Coco Touch class, Objective C class. Make sure it says subclass of UI Table View Cell. And I'll just name this Beginning Cell. Okay. Now come to Resources, right click, Add File, go to User Interface, View, and I'm going to name this beginning cell as well. Okay. Now come to beginning cell.h, type in IB outlet, UI label, and test. Okay. In out of the curly bracket, type at property non-atomic retain IB outlet UI label and test again. Okay. Go to beginning cell dot M and under implementation type at synthesize test. Now make sure you save everything and go to root view controller dot M and import your beginning cell. Okay. Now go to beginning cell dot XIB and open that up. Okay. Click the view and delete it. And then look for a UI table view cell and drag it over. Double click it to make it appear. Make sure in the identifier you name it beginning cell and hit enter and the class of this is also beginning cell now I'm going to make mine a bit bigger have more room to play around with and I'm going to drag a view in I'm then going to resize that view to 65 and I'm going to drag it sideways to fill up the entire cell I'm then going to drag a label right in the center and right click from files owner to that label or to the from the cell to the label and select test. I'm also going to resize it a little bit. And then I'm going to save it. So far we are done with interface builder. Let's go back in and to root view controller.m Okay. We are going to return, let's say, four cells. Okay. Now, under cell identifier, type beginning cell. Here, type beginning cell cell equals beginning cell and then you can leave the rest as it is um, delete the if statement and under this type in or no sorry 
actually keep the if statement but delete uh, what's inside it and inside it instead type ns array top level objects equals open brackets twice and then ns bundle main bundle close bracket load nib named beginning cell owner is self and options are nil close that and then put a semicolon under that type for id current object in top level objects close parentheses open curly bracket if open parentheses open curly bracket current object is kind of class open bracket beginning cell class close op close brackets twice close parentheses open curly bracket cell equals beginning cell current object semicolon and then put break under that and then close three times okay now just right under this uh, curly bracket close curly bracket or right above return cell to make the label display whatever you want type in if index path dot row equals equals zero close curly bracket or close parentheses open curly bracket cell dot test dot text equals test and close curly bracket okay so now that we have all of that so far Okay, this is supposed to be an if. Okay, and now we have succeeded with our build. Let's build and run. And now you can see that our first label is test, but we actually need to resize the table because our cells were 66 or 65 pixels tall so there we have 65 and save that and now our first cell says test um, to make our next cell say um, whatever we want type in if indexpath.row equals equals one cell dot test dot text equals uh, at sign quotation and let's just call this uh, hi for example and then close you can put anything you want in these quotations there's not a limit to what you can put make sure you save everything and it says hi 
In part two, I will show you how to put images and titles and a lot more things with these custom cells. 